Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi, I am Roof Yaseen and welcome to my channel. This video is created in response to request of my many students as they were facing uh, challenges or issues while they were trying to convert their existing software into a different language. Let's say they have created a software in English language and now they want to convert into Arabic, Urdu, Spanish whatever language they are required to convert, they are supposed to convert, they are trying to convert, but they are facing issues. And some of the students were asking that how and which is the best, uh, you can say, uh, which is the best way uh, to develop a software from scratch so that we can uh, convert that software into multiple uh, languages. Okay. So basic purpose of this video is to uh, show you how you can create a C-Shop, new C-Shop application or a WinForm application or either you can convert your existing C-Shop WinForm application uh, in a very easy and better way. Okay. So, so I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this video, so before proceeding, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel, like, share and comment on my videos as usual. And more importantly, I would also like to tell you that if you like my content, my efforts, you can always support me by giving a small gift. And that is you can buy me a cup of coffee. I'll give the link in my description so that you can support me through a buy me a coffee platform. OK, so before further ado, let's get started. So I will open my Visual Studio project. Uh, Visual Studio and I will create a new project. You can use either variant of Visual Studio variant is uh, there is nothing to do with variants and you can use any variant whatever variant you, you have you can use with this one there is no issue. Platform Windows desktop c sharp so i have this windows forms application the dot net framework dot net no we want to select dot net framework this one okay click next and you will select obviously a folder again sorry for this guys Okay, and over here you can see now we have a .NET framework over here. Okay, that was .NET Core project. Click Create. So this is our form, and I will uh, try to implement the logic uh, within this single form so that you you guys can uh, understand. And then I will at the end I will show you a complete system that I have uh, already created in English and Spanish variant at the same time. Okay. Okay. Let's say this is our form. The first thing I will not change these icons, then these colors and text. Basically, uh, the idea is to give you an idea rather than wasting your time on design and stuff like that. Okay. So right click and go to properties. Over here you will see on every form either you as you are creating simple forms, MDI forms, or you are creating user controls. You will have to right click on that form, that user control, uh, that MDI form, whatever you are creating, and click here localization. Okay. And click this property to true. Fine. And the next thing I will uh, design some controls over here so that you can understand. And I will obviously create a menu type and I will create a, some controls to change the layout uh, in different ways so that you can understand this okay so what I can do first of all I will uh, open a lay I will add a label then uh, combo box and then I need a text box 
then I need button then I need panel menu strip okay so these are uh, the basic controls I don't need basically panel I need these controls these these are the basic controls that you are supposed to be used in your system so where is that menu strip so this is our menu strip okay so first of all what we have done we have click we ha had click on this form and we have set its localizable property true and if you notice above this localizable you can see language property over over here above this so we are not changing this we are setting that to default okay so first thing so let's say i want to say this as a file products close i i don't want to waste your time so that i i'm trying to create as minimum things uh, as possible so that you can just got an idea and i will show at the end a complete system okay so let's say this is our menu if you if you want you can create another type of menu you can create this type of menu if you want okay and obviously you can create this type of buttons okay so this is all about menus you can create this type of menu or you can create this type of menu and then the thing is related to your form okay so let's say this label we say that this is a language okay and if you go to properties of this combo box you can go to items you can write let's say i want to use english spanish and i want to use urdu okay these are three languages more uh, uh, i will change drop down style property to list fine let's say we have a form for something like let's say this is a form this is a simple form with three properties let's say this is a product name product price and you can say quantity for example and over here you have dashboard products customers suppliers backup restore okay so this these kinds of forms you can create if you start your application as at this stage so you can see this is a simple english variant and this is our interface okay now first of all we will change this application into spanish and then we will change this application into urdu because in urdu i want to change this entire layout from right to left because in urdu arabic we have a layout of this form from right to left and spanish we have a same layout so first of all i will try to convert it uh, in spanish and then later on i will try to use uh, convert it 
on Urdu. I will open Google Translate because I don't have in, uh, any keyboard in, installed here. So what I can do, I will right click, go to properties. We have set, already set localizable property of this form is true. Then I will change this language to Spanish okay so now I have selected language to Spanish now I can change all these things so I will copy paste from Google Translator let's say I wanna change file I don't know Spanish sorry for if I write something wrong this is just to give you an idea so this is a file I can write in Spanish this thing then we have products So this is products I will copy paste from Google Translator and we have a close button as well okay so you can paste it over here next we have a dashboard we can say it This is our dashboard. Next, we have products. Next, we have customers. Next, we have suppliers. And next we have backup. Next we have restore. Okay. And the only three things left over here, I will write top name. And next we have product price. And the final thing we have quantity. Okay, so this uh, we have uh, translated our entire farm into uh, so we have only language things left so we can change this as well okay so this is our form now in Spanish I will show you magic right click go to properties when you go to uh, do Spanish again and you select default boom everything is changed into English and once again when you go to language and you click here Spanish everything is changed again uh, into Spanish okay now what I want to do I want to change this language not from properties because in runtime user doesn't have access to these properties okay so user is supposed to change language from here and that language will definitely that language will change the language of uh, this selection will change the language of complete system okay okay first thing if we start our application right click go to properties and set back it to default okay fine let's start our application Clicks. When I click English, this interface should be uh, in English. 
when I click Spanish, it should change it change to Spanish, and when I click Urdu, it should change to Urdu. We don't have defined any Urdu because in Urdu we have to change the la entire layout from right to left as well, not only these texts. So I I will I will do that in my uh, like after finishing the Spanish part and this part I will change uh, things related to Urdu. Okay. So what I can do. I can just double click over here it will generate its changed event so I can write over here like I can write switch statement and switch on what I want to write switch on this combo box dot selected index whatever you index user has selected uh, it will behave accordingly okay so what I want to write over here let's say what we have We have cases let's say user select english language so so index of english language is what zero because english is on first number i can write this okay this is our first case so if user selects zero then what should happen i will write thread control dot import the namespace using system dot threading dot current thread dot current ui culture is equals to new system dot globalization we are using basically concept of localization and globalization culture info and over here i will have to write name of culture you can uh, google uh, whatever language desired language you can uh, google for its culture code it it will be visible on google so the culture code of english is en okay so if user selected zero it should change the entire interface into english okay so this is case one and if user select spanish this is case like index one and case two this is a case one when user select the zero index this is case two when user select the one index and we have a spanish and the code for Spanish is ES. Okay. And we have a third and final case which is for Urdu. And I am specifically I am interested in Urdu of Pakistan. So I will write UR dash PK. Okay. This is the culture code of Pakistani Urdu because I have received many uh, questions and many requests from uh, my Pakistani viewers. So that's why I have included this one and I have my students in Spain as well so they have requested me uh, for Spanish variant so I combined both of this that they can get answer of answers to their questions okay so this is a switch statement after this what I will do if I start my application at this moment and I click here to English nothing is happening if I click here nothing is happening culture is for sure changed behind the scene but nothing is impacting this uh, UI. So what we can do because this UI is already initialized, we'll have to reinitialize this and we'll have to reset all the controls. Okay. If I copy just this line, initialize components, and I write here, and if I start one more time, you select English. Look this thing is again initialized this thing is again in the back initialized if i click span urdu look three times four times look behind the scenes what is happening on okay so for this we will have to uh, use this this refers to this form then controls dot clear whatever control it has clear all of them and I can start one more time and click here English look everything is in English Spanish look everything is changed into Spanish look Urdu everything uh, is changed back to its default language because we don't have uh, selected uh, uh, we don't don't have selected uh, write the meaning of Urdu but this is the idea how you can change if I click Spanish 
you can see it's like disappearing but you can control this in many ways i am not going into details you can create class where you can store values you can create variables whatever or i will not recommend you this way to write combo box over here i will recommend you uh, uh, i will show you a complete demo of the software where uh, i will show my way how i manage the languages because in real world applications i will show you the demo of real world application we have many forms okay the only thing is left is third case which is for urdu arabic hindi where we have layout from not from left to right we have a layout from right to left and we'll have to change the meaning uh, the wording of these spanish into urdu arabic hindi whatever culture uh, that follows the layout right to left will also have to change the design of this form okay so this is more most important thing i am going to do first of all i will change the meanings and i will show you how it is impacting and then i will um, what i will do i will change the layout from right to left okay so let's get started where is my friend okay so we have a file i don't have urdu keyboard otherwise i can type and write urdu but but i don't have a urdu keyboard so i will copy paste from google file okay most important thing i will right click go to properties and again i will change my language to urdu Islamic Republic of Pakistan Urdu click here and click here go here file then we have products then we have close okay and then we have dashboard and we have products then we have customers then we have suppliers then we have backup and finally we have restore Sorry for this. Okay, this is correct, and uh, this is a language. And we have product name. And we have product price. and we have quantity okay now if you start your application at this stage and you select english it is changed to english you select spanish everything is changed to spanish if you select urdu everything is changed into or do if if you want this type of application it is good it is working fine your target is achieved you have changed the entire design entire labels working everything but the problem is that in urdu in arabic and languages like this uh, people used like right to left layout, layout let's say i want to type something it should start from this position and this menu should be on this side this should be on this side this menu should be on 
right side everything will start from right to left so our target is to change this entire layout so what i can do it is a very simple over here we have urdu case we can write right to left layout equals to true and over here i can write right to left layout is equals to false false okay now if i click here it is fine fine if i click here hmm it is not changing the layout why okay let me copy this and paste it one moment here to test okay oops sorry i think if i go to properties i can change it from here as well because lo in localize local i have selected this what i can do i can click here right to left to yes i think this way i don't need to write these extra lines as well because i have set it its properties when you select a language properties will be applied to that you can do either this way but let's say if i am able to achieve my task okay this is changed this is changed you can you can see right to left layout if you click here look right to left layout right to left layout right to left layout and you can see right to left our like obviously we have written this text and this is already right to left you can also change its position if you want but this is just to give you a basic idea how things will work okay so this was a very quick and uh, not a quick like it's 28 minutes i've been doing this uh, stuff but this is very useful bear in mind if you're recording uh, if you're creating and developing your new software don't follow the same exact approach try to use some generic way okay try to use some generic way i am repeating once again try to use some generic way uh, what i mean you can create template forms and you can apply these statement from that so that you don't need to create every form and write these things copy paste these things on each and every form you don't need to do this you just need to uh, create template forms and you can paste it uh, over there you don't need to write this one you can obviously create a setting class where you can uh, set a default language for the system you can store this language in a configuration file you can store this language in a database file mm, uh, etc okay so this was the video now i am going to show you a complete system okay so let's start this software okay okay over over here you can see i have two options either i want to use a spanish version or english version if i click spanish click login sorry so you can see everything is changed to spanish over here you can see these things also change to spanish these things also change to spanish if i go here you can see these things also change to spanish if i open form look everything is changed look here look here add new look everything is changed to spanish but i have haven't write a single line of code this uh, either on this i have created my generic way to implement this one you can ob obviously think about it and it is a you task 
to how to achieve uh, you can search on google to find a better way to manage these things so if i start this application one more time and i change to english look everything is changed back to english you can do how many languages you want you can do there are different ways of doing these things don't ask me like man this is not a better approach if you know the better approach obviously you should create content so that people uh, uh, should learn i have used many different ways uh, in these kind of desktop application or uh, and i have used entirely different approaches for the web applications so it depends this was a fairly quick, quick demo for beginners and those who are seeking uh, to achieve this task this this is a real quick demo so that you can uh, implement this logic and this thing on your uh, software so if you like this video please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions you can ask me in comment section and if you want my services for your system if you want uh, a, uh, if you want to order and software obviously you can order me and you can see my whatsapp number is given over here okay so thank you so much for watching this video we'll meet, meet again in the next video in the next section till that bye bye